Yeah, baby, double. Rocking and rolling in Lake Michigan. There we go. Going for some October lake, lake trout. trout. 637, got a double. 142 on the downrigger. All right, yours is getting close. I'm gonna put mine in here, okay? All right, let me get a net. All right, you ready? Yeah, nice and easy. All right, that's a good start. What we got, about a six pounder maybe? Let's get him out. Seven. Make sure he's still on, he's he still is. there. He is, I was watching. He's definitely head shaking. Been a couple weeks since we've been out. Two and a half weeks, Matt. Two and a half weeks. We got some 14, 15 pounder. One pushing 17. So we didn't know what to expect, but looks like they're here again this morning. Oh, you too hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, under there and up. We go. All right, we got two fish ready to crack it down, both off the downriggers. One down at 140, one at the 120. Should be an awesome morning. A heck of a good start to it. I think it's a fish. So this fish is coming on a planer board. What we have set up is a nice spread that covers all the different depths of the water column we're fishing in. So we got an eight, we got a couple eight colors out, two ten colors. So we're running about 40 to 50 feet. We've got a couple uh, wire setups, wire rods with dipsies, magnum dipsies, and then of course the downriggers. So we're running them out down deep with the spinning glow and the large paddle boards, flashers for some lakers down deep. I wonder what he is. Yeah, little little laker. My guess. If you keep reeling in the babies. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Ready? Here he comes. Oh no! We got a little king, I think. A little king. Yeah, a little That's baby what king. It was. Nice fish. So this was a definite bonus. Got a small king for this late in the season. Pretty unusual. All those big guys are probably still some of them still staging right outside Waukegan Harbor. So it's nice to get something different, a little different species. We can only uh, keep two lake trout per man a day out here. So one nice small king. So today we're fishing Lake Michigan. We're fishing the bottom with uh, Cannon Downriggers. Although these are manual, they're pretty easy to use. For example, we're in about 150 feet of water. My downrigger set to 114. So I wanna drop it a little lower to get closer to the bottom. I'll open up the bale on my reel, keep my thumb there so I don't back spool. And then I will go counterclockwise till the spool starts spinning and it'll slowly drop with the clutch system. And I watch the counter to make sure I get it to the depth that I want to get it at. And then I do one, two cranks forward and then boom, it's done. And on top of that, this is also a two to one gear ratio. So when you're cranking it up, it spins twice to every turn. So it brings the ball up really fast so it's easy to get back your line back in the water and get it back down quick to get back to fishing. The last nice thing about these downriggers is if you wanted to go perch fishing, you can easily remove them so you have the whole side of the boat nice and clear. It just uh, comes off with a quick screw and you get them out of the way and you're good to go. All right, there we go, there's a the bike, there's a the bike. And the downrigger again. You there? I think so, you wanna crank it up? All right, we're getting this downrigger out of the way so we don't, uh, when we're reeling into this fish, we don't want to get it wrapped up on the wire line and then saw us off, which has happened. So we're just going to get this up out of the way. We don't have to worry about it. And this rigger's got a two to one gear ratio, so it comes up really nice, even with a hand crank. All right. All right you ready? Another one on the downrigger. Cannon's paying off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You go. On the spinning go again. Green. Green's the con. All right, so this is one of the main setups we've been using uh, all summer long. Uh, a pretty medium sized spinning glow uh, with a 12 inch flasher, Oki flasher, running at about 1.7 to 2.0 speed over ground uh, for the lake trout. And it's, it's, it's been one of our top producers for the last month. We're gonna set him back and see if we can get another one. Hey, Chris, you wanna move that uh, rod for me? The one in the back here? Yeah. Uh, all right, I see him back there. 
He's on the surface, just trying to keep him from jumping out of the water. And the spinning glow again. Uh, I'm gonna bring him in real slow, keep him under the water, get as close as I can so Chris over here will be able to get the net underneath him, scoop him up so we don't lose him. I'll walk back when I get it close. Nice one. Ready? Real nice color on this fish. All right. There we go. Big belly. All right, we got our uh, we got our last Laker of the day. Um, it came off our downrigger on our spinning glow setup. Um, we've been covering all depths of water here on the Great Lakes. We use our planer boards for up high, our dipsies for mid, and we're using our downriggers for scraping the bottom. Um, downriggers are essential for fishing the Great Lakes. Um, if you want to learn more about Cannon Downriggers, visit CannonDownriggers.com. I'm Matt Tadla. This is Chris Ladd. Midwest Outdoors will be right back.